Oh, no, Jack. Oh, uh, no. Get off me. Yes, of course, Jack is. Oh, my goodness. Jeez, Jack, you are such a perv. On the same bed where Jack was wanking in the previous episode? What the fuck? What? 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 That was a fucking vampire. Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Asylum Challenge. It is the new morning, I've just woken up and uh, I attempted to make a breakfast, but I didn't do a very good job, predictably. So I'm just gonna wait on someone else to make a better meal than me. I'm counting on you, Helena. As much as I love the piano, it counts as an extra seating. So I had to completely replace it. Um, and now Rick is dabbling in some guitar. <laughs> I'll probably play on it when I get a chance, but for now I've got aspirations to fulfill. I need to finish one more book and then I can move on to the next step. Oh no, I'm not feeling great today. Do you know what? That is just so coincidental with my condition at the moment. Yeah, for the past few weeks I've been nauseous myself. That's what happens when you go out for one night, just one night of drinking. I haven't drunk any alcohol since before COVID. I only drank two pina coladas and two shots for a drinking game. I didn't feel too drunk, but my body obviously couldn't handle it because when I got home, I puked. And then I had an on and off again stomachache for three weeks. My imagination was running wild. I thought I was contagious. I thought I was ill. I thought I was going to die but it faded away. I still get cramps every now and then, but I don't get shivers and fevers anymore. Thank goodness. I just can't take drink very well. I'm that sensitive to alcohol. Uh, no, Tina, I am not letting you back in this house. Jeez, she's expecting me to be friends with her after all the creeping and peeping she's been doing. No, I should get a pad from upstairs because otherwise I'll just leak onto the seat. Let's just grab this. Okay, cool. I've just replaced it. My pad. Ooh, I don't want to know that detail. Yo, clean yourself. Yay, milestone complete. Right, what's the next thing? Level four in four skills. And level three of any career. Maybe that's one of the first things I should do is just get on with my writing. Oh, actually, no, I can't. I'm not allowed to select the other players. That's pretty obvious but I can do that at a specific time, at 12 a.m. Bang on at midnight, I can pause the game and go through everyone's belongings. Therefore, I can locate that notebook and then she can get on with freelance writing. In the meantime, I'm gonna just focus on my skills. At the moment, I've got comedy, cooking, logic, and persuasion. Logic, we can start with that. Oh, no, she's too uncomfortable to play chess. Oh no, Jack, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Get off me! <laughs> Get out my face! Do you not know boundaries? Jeez, Rick has been so busy with cooking. <laughs> He's made three meals. Will, what, what, what happened to you? Why do you look so battered? Actually, you look like you have war paint or something. Weird, what is this? Something's wrong with him. I'm going to stay away from him for a bit. He looks contagious. A few moments later. Oh, okay. It's gone. Oh, thank goodness. Me, I am not good today because I am leaking. Jeez, I've got a very heavy flow. There you go. Oh, now I'm in a much better mood. I am focused. Annie, what is up with you? you got to clean that up. I'm not cleaning it for you. Okay, so um, now I'm a little dizzy. Jeez, I have really weird side effects with this menstruation. This is probably one of the worst ones. There was a time when my period was so, so bad. I was seeing white, like everything just desaturated. The lights were too blinding. Like even the car headlights, which weren't even on, were blinding to me because of my dizziness and nausea. But that was a lifetime ago. Yeah, I don't get those anymore, but I had really bad episodes in my early days of having the period. I mean, isn't that, a, isn't that a thing that people who are about to die, they see the light? And then there's that, that reference, that movie reference, don't go into the light. So the times when I have the white episode, I wonder, 
Does that mean I'm dying? <laughs> what am I talking about? Jeez, this is just a fucking period. Okay, so what's everyone else doing? Great. I ask what everyone's doing and I come to see this. On the same bed where Jack was wanking in the previous episode? What the fuck? Who is this now? It doesn't look like Jack. Is this Rick? There's Joker, there's Annie, there's Will Smith Genie. Yeah, fucking hell, it's Rick wanking his little Rick. His pickle Rick. <laughs> He's playing with his little pickle. <laughs> Dipping it in some Szechuan sauce. <laughs> What the fuck? No! Oh, I do hope that Peeping Tina is not here. Okay, thank goodness she's not here to watch, but... <laughs> Maybe it's not really a pretty picture compared to watching Jack. <laughs> wow, I am really ill. Maybe you should go to sleep. It's not a good time to stay up so late. Oh! Shit! I... Oh, fuck! I missed it! Does it have to be 12 a.m. on the dot? Seriously? Can I just do it now? It doesn't say at 12 a.m. on the dot, so fuck it. I am 48 minutes late, I don't care. I paused the game, so I'm gonna go through everyone's stuff. There you are, the thieving little culprit. You're the one who's got the notebook. Uh, I'm not supposed to keep it, I'm just gonna put it here. What, what, what? What the fuck? That wasn't even Rick. That was a fucking vampire. So you went out of your way to teleport into our asylum to do a little wank and then fuck off back to your spooky castle. What the fuck? That is one messed up vampire. Do I know this person? No, I don't. This is a complete stranger. Well, okay, that makes it a very interesting night. I'm not gonna sleep there ever again. I know this is the, this is the wanking room, okay? <laughs> this is pretty much my bed. Uh, even says I claim this bed. Ugh, I can't believe it. Annie and Rick are sitting on the same bed that the vampire jizzed in. I'm very close to level four once I'm... Oh no. Oh, she wants to stop. Fine, fine. It's already past 2 a.m. So you might as well go to sleep. It's fine. Everyone else is fast asleep, except for Annie, who's reading the notebook. Oh no, she's gonna snatch it again. I can't block her from using any items, so... Yep, I just have another day without using the book. The next morning. Why don't I do a little bit of upgrading? Let's get this one. This looks nice. We'll throw this icky one away. Next is the oven. And then the fridge. There we go, we've upgraded the kitchen with some nice plumbing and appliances. We're down to eight simoleons, oh my god, that's how much we spent on just the kitchen. Once the Joker gives us more money, then we can upgrade the other rooms. Oh, no, we can't even play chess because they have taken it. Why don't you do some exercise? Yay, she's feeling good. I'm ready for a workout of a lifetime, baby. Oh, come on, really? I'm still ill? <laughs> well, fight it. Get the toxic sweat out of you. No, Peeping Tina, no time for you. Get out of my life. That is pathetic. Get back on the treadmill. Oh, look at me. I'm feeling so pumped today. Yes, I am running like faith from Mirror's Edge. Great, I am up to level two. And my fever is actually fading. Yay, she's feeling good. Oh no, now she's fatigued. Okay, that was a very, very good workout. Well done. We have no money. Great. Looks like you gotta build up a new skill, Shimona's. You're going to be the repair man of the house now. I don't think he approves of my smell. I probably smell like foul mushrooms on a hot sunny day. You do notice that when you're ill, your sweat smells a lot worse than usual. Desperate to have a bath, I go out of my comfort zone to start figuring out how to fix this damn bathtub. Learning new things every day. I might as well kill two birds with one stone. Just maintain the household with my new handiness skill and to also build it up to level four. Wow, Rick, he's just a busy bee. He's now up to level three. He just keeps on cooking. I sense competition. I'm probably gonna be fixing something every single day now. We're down to one simoleon. I probably shouldn't have splurged so much money on the upgrades in the kitchen. 
Yay, level four. Right, you can stop that now. Uh, we got Helena here just sitting naked in front of the TV. Yeah, it looks like she's just prepared herself to go to the bath. She's taking off all her clothes downstairs and then going all the way up to... Oh no, Jack's coming. Oh, Jack is just so invasive. He keeps butting into the bathroom and having his own way. Now Helena has to stand there and wait for her turn to have the bath still naked. Oh no, Jack's changed his mind. I guess he just wanted to have another look at Helena. <laughs> She's like, what a creep. Meanwhile, I am doing a very good job. This is my second workout in one day. I'm feeling a bit sick though. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? I'm wondering if I could buy some medicine. Am I allowed to do that? I know for sure that you can only buy medicine on the computer, which is not great. I don't even have enough money for anything. Gotta suck it up, really. Uh, I'm surrounded by two smelly men. Ah, just let her socialize. It might keep her distracted from the need to throw up. Oh, okay. Look, the two guys are gonna fight for the shower. Who's gonna take it first? Wow, they are toe to toe, reaching for the bathroom. And it's Jack. Yes, of course. Jack is. Oh my goodness! <laughs> he didn't even realize that Bellatrix was in the. Jeez, Jack, you are such a perv. You just walk into everyone. You walked into me in the toilet. You walked into Helena when she's about to have a shower. And then now you walked into her Bellatrix. <laughs> oh no, here comes peeping Tina. She wants to look for a good scene, but uh, you're not going to find anything interesting. Oh, she's looking in my window. That is just creepy. Get out of my property. It is 12 a.m. midnight. Bang on midnight. I've paused everything so I can go through everyone's stuff. Oh, he's back from work and he brought so much money. Yes, he shouldn't have that much money. I think it's because I took a joker from the gallery that has lots of skill. I don't know whether I should bring his level down because it does feel like cheating. Yeah, he's the boss. Hmm. I'm not controlling the Joker. You know, I'm developing myself, so it's not against the rules to have everyone be at a certain level already. The aim of the game is for me to develop enough skill and enough talent to get out of the asylum. It's not really them. It's not up to me to decide what each of the other, the non-playable character skills are, so uh, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to take that notebook and put it in my room. I'm not allowed to lock this room because that's against the rules. Here's my plan. I'm going to wake up quite early. I've got to be up before Annie does because I know for a fact she will take this notebook. And I need to do my job. I am slacking in my own freelance writing job. So, gotta get cracking on it. The next morning. Okay, I am awake and I'm very achy from my workout. I'm just gonna first practice writing. I know I am hungry, but I gotta take that notebook before Annie wakes up. Jeez, am I still ill again? I need to select um, a gig. Write a clickbait article and get an article approved. I don't think it could do a clickbait article on this book. Damn it. I think I've selected the wrong job. Uh, I thought freelance writers, you could just write a book and then submit that and you get some money. When in actual fact, there's a lot more to it and it does require the computer. Oh yeah, damn it. Okay, children's books. That sounds promising. Fuck's sake, no. I can't chat on the phone, for real? Fine, I've got to quit. Oh, I wanted to work at home, but I need a computer. It's not gonna work. I've got to find a traditional job. There we go. That's my new job. I'm gonna read books. That's my daily task. That is easy! Whoa, Genie, what's up with you? Don't take it out on this brand new fridge. I've spent so much money on this fridge that looks like a vending machine from my local gym. Helena's feeling blue today. Maybe I should chat with her. Oh, Lena, is that you? Why are you crying? And why are you going in the other room? Whoa! I just teleported in two places. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna brave myself going into the jizz room just so I can cheer up poor Helena. Hey, what's up, mate? Why are you feeling so down? Is it because of Love Day? I hate that day. It's such a shitty day. It shouldn't exist. Why should we celebrate loving somebody in one particular day when you can celebrate the, your love every day? Oh, great! Just when we are at an emotional moment, we got a bloody fire. <laughs> Look at me carrying my milk. <laughs> Gotta take my milk with me. Oh no, it's Bellatrix now. 
No! Oh, for fuck's sake, Bellatrix, not you! Oh, no! I hope you're happy, Bellatrix. Oh, uh, now I feel sick from the fumes, and I'm about to wet myself! No! This day just gets better and better. Why don't you paint? I haven't seen you paint. And I kind of laid this out for you. I know you like art a bit. Not into it? Fair enough. You can just stare at it for as long as you like. Right, I'm on the treadmill. I'm not feeling too great, but I could do it. I could fight it. I feel at the moment we are quite cooped up. I think at some point I will schedule a day out. But for now, I think I'm not in the right mood to go outside. I'm too embarrassed of life. I'm glad that there are quite a few people who are taking cooking very seriously. It just saves me time doing cooking. I can just steal someone else's food. What? I haven't even said hi to the genie. That is just so awkward. And Jack as well. I'm being sociable now. I am saying hello to everybody. Almost to level three. Come on, you can fight this illness. Okay, it is midnight and the Joker is back just in time with some more money. Yay. Let's upgrade the bathroom. <laughs> I could just replace it with a bush. That would be so funny. Or this very old-fashioned toilet. Wow, it's quite atmospheric, actually. I kind of like it. I will upgrade the shower as soon as someone's out. Maybe the TV, actually. Nice big one. Oh, I'm having a stare down with Annie. <laughs> She's like, are you using it? Can I use it? Are we going to decide by combat? Come on, I need to shit. Oh. Why? If I'm already meters away from the toilet, I should sit down on it, not walk away and let someone else take it. Woo! Up to level two. Yay. It's easy enough to think about myself. I don't care about love day at all, but others will. And I kind of want them to make the best out of that particular day. So I will take them all out for this one particular day. Just have a little fun outside. I'll do that once I'm awake. I'm still recovering from my fever. Okay, I think that's enough sleep for me. I recovered from my fever, so I am perfectly fine to step out. Right, let's go. I presume no one's working. Oh, no, I've got one hour to work. Ugh. Okay, here we are at the park, everyone. Just do whatever you want for one hour and that's it, go. What do you want to do? What is there to do? All right, I'll make a drink. I'll make my favorite drink. Come on, guys, you've got one hour. There's no time to waste. Oh, cool shorts, by the way, Jack. That's my favorite drink, the barley wine ale. That is not my favorite drink. I am going to amend that. I'm disappointed they don't have pina coladas or Bailey's Irish cream on this list. <laughs> I don't know what IPA is, I'll just, I'm just curious. Okay, is that me going to work? Yes, all right, all right everyone go home now. Okay, so I'm back home. Um, I should be at work now, because it did see a symbol of me at work. Am I even doing it? I sense a bit of a glitch here. I'm still out and about, yet I'm supposed to be working. I can't even select myself because I am supposed to be in a rabbit hole. But I've escaped the rabbit hole. Look at me go! Multitasking! I'm up to good! I cheated the game. That is so cool. Alright, that's what I'm gonna do from now on. If I'm about to work in a short period of time, I'll have to be outside to do it. And then we teleport back inside and I manage to stay in the asylum doing numerous things while also still working on my job. I did it. I'm gonna do a workout while I am working in my job as a writer. That is crazy. I'll call this the, the double life cheat. This is absolutely great. I'm so glad I accidentally discovered this cheat. <gasps> oh, Spice Festival, yes. That's a good idea. We should go out to the Spice Festival after I finish my job. Oh, hello, Jeannie. Come to sit with me. Have a chit chat with me. Oh, our first time you've approached me and have a proper chat with me. <gasps> Yay! I got promoted! Yay, up to level two. Okay, let's go to the festival with everyone. Everyone's coming along. We're gonna celebrate. It's about time. I need to celebrate my new promotion. Right, let's join society. Oh, wait. Shit. Did I just break a rule? Yes, I broke a rule. Ah. Oh. 
Fuckity fuck, no. Oh no, I shouldn't be out after 5 p.m. Oh no, I'm sorry. We can't stay here, we have to go back home. Oh, that is such a bummer. Sorry guys, party is over. That's boring, that is just so boring. I can't go out and have fun. Fine then, we'll do a party. There was not, not mentioned in the rules at all. So I'm gonna go for it, fuck it. I am going to arrange a party. I mean, the only other person I know is my boss and Tina. Yeah, Tina, I am going to invite you, don't worry. There we go. Our first little party. And I'm hungry, so uh, I want to get some food. Let's cook a grand meal. I have no idea how to cook, but I'm going to go for it anyway. I'm going to be ballsy. Oh, Rick, you look cool in this Hawaiian shirt. And genie as well, wow. Oh, and there's Tina. <laughs> Our only friend. Oh wow, Bellatrix. She looks good today. Oh, who's this? I don't know you. Breed and Aragorn. I have no idea who this guy is, but I like his haircut, so uh, I'm gonna let him in. I'm gonna invite him in. Here I am. I'm a bit tired, but I am going to make an effort. Welcome to the party. Uh, it looks so far it looks good. I think I'm doing a good job. <laughs> Oh, you might have added a little bit too much seasoning there, mate. Oh dear, I just destroyed an entire wine bottle on it. Oh, we're gonna get shards of glass. We add a little bit of crunch to our ham. Oh, no. Really? Jack is doing another wank in my bed. No! He's wanking on my bed. That is my favorite bed and you're wanking in it. No, no bed is safe for me now. Uh, anyway, the ham looks great. Oh yeah, it looks like it was uh, thrown into a vat of radioactive waste and cooked inside a nuclear bomb. Right, I'm gonna um, say hi to him. I'm gonna get to know this Aragorn. He's gonna be my new friend. Oh, actually, am I breaking the rules again? You can travel to other people's houses and community lots. Okay, it doesn't say you can socialize after 5 p.m. All right, yeah, I found a loophole, all right? I can socialize with other sims if they are in my community, it's fine. If it's a completely different community, I completely understand. But I invited him to this asylum, and if he's in this asylum as a guest, I have the right to speak to him and socialize with him. So yeah, there, I said it. So yeah, I'm gonna say hi to Aragorn. He's gonna be my new friend. Sure, he's gonna feel a little bit intimidated by the fact that every single person here is a nutcase. Oh, he's a stay-at-home dad. Oh, he's got family. I don't think he's enjoying the house party that much. Ooh, they're like matching colours. It's such a cool duo. I'm gonna attempt to make him laugh before he goes. Yay, he's laughing! I did it. That makes a great house party already. It's nice knowing you, Brayden. I gotta say, your hair looks amazing. Thank you for coming over. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I mean, as we are coming to the end of the day, I might as well call it the end of the episode. Oh. I'm gonna go straight to sleep. I'm gonna go full face first in the puddle. There we go. <laughs> That's a nice way to end it. So, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.